Michelle and I met at Laurier. Little did I know at the time that this bubbly blonde that always made me laugh would turn out to be one of my best friends. When I finally met Mike, I could tell why Michelle was so happy. He was sweet, funny, smart, and motivated. When Michelle and Mike were in California, they called me on Skype to tell me that they were engaged. Mike had planned everything out. The guitarist playing their song, the date on the pier, the gorgeous ring. I could tell that it was everything that Michelle had wanted and more. I love you both and I wish you a lifetime of happiness. When I met Mike, I knew there was something different about him. I knew I was going to have to share my best friend, um, and there was no one else in the world I would rather do this with. Um, he was actually going to be able to keep up with Michelle, which is impossible, as most of us know, um, and treat her like the princess she is. When Michelle was growing up, we went through the normal ups and downs. Then she started to bring boys around the house, and as any parent of a daughter will tell you, no boy is good enough for their princess. But Mike, soon after you started coming around on a regular basis and we had the chance to really get to know you, things just started to make a little more sense. It's very hard to put into words the feeling you get as parents when you realize your daughter's heart belongs to someone else. But there is a strange calm that overwhelms you when you can look at the couple and know, really know, that they were meant for each other. You and Michelle are embarking on a wonderful journey together. No matter what road you may choose, we're right behind you both, win or lose. But there is no doubt in our minds that together you will achieve everything your hearts desire. Every dream will become re your reality. Every wish will be your certainty. Every happiness will be your bedrock and the certainty of your love will be your support because true love is your foundation. I'm getting married! Take you, Michelle, to be my wife. I, Michael, take you, Michelle, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Michelle, take you, Michael, to be my husband. I, Michelle, take you, Michael, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Thank you, Michael and Michelle. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs>
Mike and Michelle really love each other and talk to each other and discuss what they want to do and it's not each other telling each other what to do. And that's one thing that I have noticed about the two of them, the way that they look at each other with smiles, with laughter, with uh, sparkle in their eyes and that was very evident in the church today. One thing anyone who knows Mike will notice is that this guy's got like horseshoes and rabbit's paws stuffed away somewhere. I don't know. This guy's got crazy luck. Like, it's scary. But this is luck only. Anything that involves skill, no. But <laughs> Mike's dead last. But with all this luck, it's no surprise to me that he met someone so beautiful. Aww. Michelle, honestly, you amaze me. You've been a true best friend of Mike. and. We've been out of sight for good and bad. Your relationship has been far from simple, but there are a few of us who can really see how perfect you two really are together. You don't try to change each other or act differently, but instead you naturally push each other to become a better version of the great people you already are. And I know that long before this wedding, both of you had made the decision that this person is the one that you want to be with, and you're going to be with them no matter what. You do things for each other even if it burdens yourself, and that's how I know that you two will be together till the end. So tonight I would like to congratulate and propose a toast. I'll start with Mike. For, uh, finding a woman so beautiful, caring, kind, and isn't she beautiful? Like, yeah. <laughs> Woo! The perfect wife. And to Michelle, you got yourself a really nice ring. <laughs> So, to two best friends, to a happy marriage, to Mike and Michelle. Mike, you are hardworking ambitious, smart, loving, and empathetic. The most amazing feeling in the world is knowing that I get to spend every day of my life with you. For the past six years, every day that I've been with you, I have loved you more and more each day. I'm excited to love you more and more each day for the rest of our lives. You get me. You, you get every part of me. You get my sense of humor, <laughs> my silliness, my emotions, and there's lots of them, <laughs> my thoughts, and my dreams. You nurture my passion for life, and you hold my hand through all of the challenges. Your ability to see things rationally and ability to see things logically balance my tendency to act on emotions. You are my best friend. You're my partner. And now I get to call you my husband. <laughs> and Michelle's put a lot of effort into this wedding. I'd like everyone to stand up and give her a round of applause for the beautiful bride. Yeah.